A couple weeks ago, we showed you guys the 2018 Raptor. That's no doubt an awesome truck, but with an eye-watering price of almost 70 grand, most of you won't be choosing it. This is the 2018 F-150 XL, but with the special STX package. That changes the styling significantly without doing the same to the price tag. The review will be focused on this model, but also about the various equipment that you can pair with it. So let's go ahead and check out what is sure to be one of the most popular versions of the new F-150. We would like to specially thank Jack Kane Ford for giving us access to today's vehicle. If you would like to check out their dealership and large inventory of all the Ford models, we have provided a link to their website in the video description. So to start out, I'll cover the ground rules of how to get the STX. First you have to choose the XL trim, then either Super Cab or Super Crew configurations. Then any engine besides the base 3.3 liter V6, and finally add the 101A equipment group. By the way, this color is called Magma Red, though it looks a lot closer to black to me. Since the STX requires the 101A package, they will all come with keyless entry and the switchblade key fob. Before we check out the unique exterior and interior details, let's first pop the hood. So like I already mentioned, the STX package requires you pick one of the three optional engines. Each of these engines has received extensive updates for 2018 starting with this all-new second-generation 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6. Advanced dual-port and direct injection have raised the power output to 325 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. This is the cheapest engine at $995. Another $1,000 will get you the 395 horsepower 5-liter V8 and $2,600 will get you the 370 horsepower 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. Regardless of your choice, every engine will be paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission and to either two or four-wheel drive. They also all have auto start stop, which helps them see fuel economy gains. For the sake of brevity, I'll just focus on the 2.7 for the rest of the review. So as equipped, our 4x4 is rated at 19 city, 24 highway, 21 combined. Anyways, now let's check out the unique STX styling and features. The STX has several unique styling elements, the most obvious of which is this grille. The inside is made up of a black mesh, so it has the distinction of being the only F-150 without bars across the grille. I think overall it makes it look much sportier than on the other trims. Off to the side you have a little tab, with the newly reshaped halogen headlights surrounding it. You also get regular halogen fog lights, and compared to the XL, the bumpers are painted body color. The ground clearance of this truck is 9.4 inches, but if you want to utilize all of that, then you're going to have to remove that air dam. Honestly, the STX doesn't look anything like the XL it's based on. 
And when it comes to the wheels, it also makes for a significant upgrade. These are 20 inch machined aluminum wheels with flash gray painted pockets. And obviously they look a massive amount better than the steel wheels on the XL. The brakes are ventilated disc in the front and rear, though I couldn't find the exact numbers. Coming to the mirrors, there's nothing special to report. They are power adjusting, and the only feature is the blind spot mirror. The door handles are also black and the running boards are an extra option. So the STX is somewhat limited in the configurations compared to other F-150s. You can only get it in Super Cab or Super Crew, though you can still get it in all three bed sizes, five and a half, six and a half, and eight foot beds. This is the Super Crew with the five and a half foot bed. As far as active safety equipment goes, the STX doesn't have any, but if that really matters to you, the other trims of the F-150 do offer them. You do get some extra STX badging. Around back, this trim gets the same upgrades as the other 2018 F-150s. As you can see, F-150 is now engraved into the tailgate. The taillights aren't LED, but they do have a slightly different design this year. Now as far as towing goes, this truck is rated at 8,000 pounds, but obviously this will vary quite a bit with the other engines. The tailgate is not easy lower on this trim. Honestly, there's nothing really special about this bed. Of course, you can add a bed liner or various other accessories. On this F-150, we have the optional 36-gallon fuel tank. That's good for a massive fuel range of 756 miles, as equipped. And it does use regular unleaded fuel. Anyways, that's it for the outside, so now let's move on to the interior. Since this is positioned to be one of the more affordable F-150s, the interior is not real flashy. This is the only color you can get, known as medium earth gray. For the STX, the seats are sport cloth, though I'm not really sure how that's different from the regular cloth. The door trim is also rather basic, with the entire thing being made from hard touch plastic. The windows are fully automatic, but only for the front too. The driver's seat is six-way manual adjusting, with manual lumbar and recline. The cloth has a very durable feel to it, and the seats overall are quite comfortable.
Looking around, this of course is a lot more of a work truck than the Raptor or Platinum we have been in previously. And the materials do reflect that different mission. Essentially, every surface is hard touch plastic, but it does feel very solid. Additionally, everything does fit together really well. So to start, you have to insert the regular key. This 8-inch display with SYNC 3 is included with the other STX stuff. The gauges have a very simple design, but you do get a decently sized 4.2 inch multifunction display. It contains a surprisingly comprehensive amount of info. The steering of all F-150s is electric power assisted, and this is the basic urethane steering wheel. Up top we have controls for the display and the cruise control. And over here you have various other things. Finally, the steering wheel itself does tilt and telescope. You do also get an electronic parking brake, which is new to all F-150s this year. It does, however, retain the traditional column shifter. If you go all the way down to M, you can shift manually with these little toggles. You can also press the end of this to cycle through the different drive modes. There are six total modes, but be aware this is referring to the transmission, not anything else. When you shift into reverse, you get a standard backup camera. It does have guidance lines and a special marker for hooking up trailers. You can also zoom in to help that even more. Now as far as cabin storage goes, it's hard to think of anything that can beat the F-150. The center bin is enormous, and it feels like it goes down about two feet. This tray does remove, and there's a 12 volt outlet down there. In front of that, you have a big space where the shifter would be on higher trims. And then you can slide this up to show another area, which includes two USBs. And lastly, there is some storage along the side here. Up here, we have the four-wheel drive controls. Moving on over to the climate, we have the fully manual setup. It's refreshingly simple, with only two big knobs, and then all the other functions right in between them. Now let's sample the six-speaker audio system. Sound quality is actually pretty decent for a basic setup. And now let's move into our really brief look at the SYNC 3 system. This is basically the same setup you'll find in many other Fords. There is a home screen, and you can click on stuff to expand them. Sources show you all the other options, and more apps would appear here based on what's installed on your smartphone. Next in phone, you can scroll through all of your contacts that are automatically synced over from your smartphone. Since we don't have navigation, let's move into the apps. We don't have the XM Travel Link apps, but we do have the thing that really counts, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. If you want to find out more information about those things, and see a detailed tutorial on the entire SYNC 3 system, then check the link in the video description which will take you to our tech help segment. 
Above the screen, you do have a button to defeat the auto start stop system, if that's something that gets on your nerves. The mirror is just the regular manual type. Up top, there's nothing to look at besides the light. So overall, this is an interior that's going to appeal to a lot of truck buyers. It has all the basic stuff people expect, but it does without the luxury features that most don't need. STX basically makes you feel like you spent more money than you did, so I imagine this will be a popular choice. Now I'll let Mason show off the rest of the cabin. The back door trim has consistent materials with the front. It's mostly hard touch plastic, but the windows on both sides are power. More importantly, there is quite a bit of storage space in the door. So as you can see, we have the Super Crew F-150, which gives you this huge rear seat. The technical rating is 43.6 inches of legroom, compared to 33.5 inches you'd get with the Super Cat. The seats are pretty soft, and just pull to fold them up. You can hide quite a few things under them. In the center you have two built-in cup holders, and below it are some vents. We also have several connections, like the two USB ports and a 12 volt outlet. Up top, Ford does give you a light, and further over, a coat hook. Legroom in the Super Crew is nothing to worry about. Even with the seat scooted mostly back, I have over a foot of leg space and plenty of foot space as well. Overall, I expected this truck's rear seat to be a little basic, but I'm pleased to see a lot of the features from the high-end F-150s made it onto this one too. There's plenty of comfort for the whole family. The passenger seat is manually adjusting on this example. The dash is hard touch plastic with a nice graining, and below it is a decently sized glove box. The passenger also has a 12 volt power outlet to keep charged up, and plenty of space down here to store things. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed one of the first reviews on the refreshed 2018 Ford F-150 STX. Stay tuned for a quick look at the pricing information, and don't forget to come along with us next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies. <laughs>